brothers and sisters, stand to your feet. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Henderson. to the congregation and for the congregation to meet her. So while we're in LA, I booked a studio so that Shani and I could record some things to show the congregation exactly what I see inside of her. I'm excited for people to see the other side of you. What do you mean? I don't know, you're just nuts, but in a good way. What do you mean? Uh, I can't describe it, but I'm sure it'll come out. You said something's wrong with me? Yeah. Wow. In a good way. Okay. <laughs> We're going to read and answer some of the questions we've collected from the congregation so that way we can give answers and responses to some of the things that people have been thinking about. I am so nervous about what she's going to say. We don't want to hold anything back to those questions. Said don't hold anything back. Ricky said it. Don't tell her not to. Ricky oh. said it's too late. Can't take it back. She doesn't even know what she's going to say yet, which is even more frightening. <laughs> What stereotypes of the first family do you all want to break or disqualify? And I really don't want anybody putting a title on you because when you become somebody's first lady, they also have uh, the propensity to put a set of expectations on you. I only want you to be my wife. And if you decide there is something in the church that you have a passion for, we'll find out what it is, but it's not a requirement. I don't know. I don't. Okay, well, what do you see as your role in the church? I think that I'm still figuring that out. I, I of course, want to do something with the women, probably the kids, the little babies. Um, but I want to be the best wife to you. She a stone cold fox. Who says and, that? Uh, <laughs> I don't plan on conforming to anything that anybody expects. I just want people to see me as being authentic. I genuinely love to help people. So hopefully the Lighthouse Church will accept me as that. You're a stone cold fox and you've given me a place where I don't have to be my job. Ooh. And you helped to reveal a side of me that I didn't know was there until you got there. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, you know, I do what I can, sister. I'll I do what I can. Absolutely hope that us sharing our story mm -hmm. gives people a deeper look and insight of our love story and who you actually are as a person. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank, Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. That was Thanks. fun. Yeah. I think it went well. What do you think? I think it went good. So how is your dress fitting? It's not here yet. Are you serious? So we don't have a backup plan, or? Nope, it's going to be the dress, babe. Yeah, I can't even imagine how much anxiety that must be right now for us to be this close in that dress in here. So that's crazy. I know, I know. You want to pray? You got good, you got pray. You got good praying, uh, think my Lord, let Did it I say come. Think of my Jesus? I'm sorry. Interrupt my prayer. I'm sorry. Lord, let the dress come. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> started a candle and so it went from this business opportunity to thinking wouldn't it be amazing to give as a gift uh, to the people at the wedding. We absolutely love, love, love candles so I just was like this would be perfect. We've been blessed to launch a business together and we'll be gifting our guests with a sneak peek of our upcoming candle line. That's correct. 
you want to start with some scents? Sure. Okay, great. Let's do that. Let's smell some scents. What type of scents do you typically like? He likes ooh. I have a mahogany tea. Let's smell it. So that's a mahogany tea. Ooh, that does smell good. Then we, you can get kind of fly to like a Georgia tea. Ooh. Any scent that we choose, we can make it any color. So we can oh. have this to be all white in your vessel. Really? You burn it and we can change the name. We can call it uh, Unity. I want to bite you when I smell that peach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what it makes me want to do? <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Here, you're here, 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 right? <laughs> you are a biter. Like, you randomly bite. You? Yeah, like, we could be in the car and you you're just... chewy. What? I'll do it again right now. <laughs> so these are what you can put the candles in? Yes, okay. yes. Well, I, 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 I wanted to talk to you about that, too. Did you have an idea about the vessel you had? We had just have some different ones. Which one do you like, babe? I'm more of like a simple kind of vessel. Oh, I'm not mad at that either. Black it is. Yep. And then we could do like a matte black label, and you just tell me what you wanted to say. We I wanted to say 1111 11 sham, by the way. 1111? 11? Yeah. Okay. What yeah. is it? 1111 11 for you guys? <laughs> so when I met her, uh, she has this tattoo on her wrist that says 1111. 11. I have it on my back. Oh, and you didn't, you didn't even know? Oh. So it sparked up a conversation. <laughs> and so we started this thing where every day at 1111 11 a.m. and p.m., we would text each other and say, I love you. And then the other person who did didn't go first or have to say, I love you more. <laughs> so I asked her to marry me uh, on 11 11 at 11 11. That's it, 11 11. Right? right. It, only, it only makes sense. It's, oh, it <laughs> only makes sense. Is we going to make it make sense, yeah, right? Like In all types like of ways. All make, make, sense. make it make sense. I like that. 11 11. We only have a couple days. So we can get 175 very quickly. Yes. Yes? You say it so yeah, confidently. I can go do it now, and by the time you come back, I can have Shut a Shut up. Seriously, yeah. That's thing. crazy. Yeah, this is my thing. This is what I yeah. do. This is what I love to do. I so. love the confidence. Yes. Well, I'm going to just be over here smelling more things, and, you know, you can take care of the bill with Miss Shan. Excuse? Yep, there you go. All right, Miss Shan. Okay, show up sure. to the register. We'll go to the register. OK. See you later. I'm excited, so excited. too. <laughs> Be great. Everything that represents Shawnee. You know, Which is fabulous. Classic, right. fabulous. <laughs> right, that. All of that. <laughs> you have to retire that pose. <laughs> don't do yeah. don't, don't retire. That was my singles woman pose. I like right. it. Done. I like it. All right, Eric, let's see my dress. The dress is not here yet. Don't drive yourself crazy. I'm leaving for my wedding in just a few days. I have no dress. Somebody just rock me, because that's what I need. I need to be held and rocked so that I don't lose my whole mind. Oh, my god! It's the most important day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make sure your dress is here for time. Absolutely. But just in case, I wanted to bring you back into the world of what our original sketch is. Let's try on some more dresses at the back up. I want my wedding dress, but if I have to wrap myself in a curtain, I'm marrying that man in something. It's gonna happen. Let's right. try some dresses. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We got it. Let's do it. I'll agree to try these dresses on because I guess the smart thing to do is to have a backup plan, even though I'm still praying for my dress to get here. Okay. Coming. Okay, wait. Am I gonna yet. cry? Am I gonna yeah. cry? You better not. Oh, look at this. I'm not even crying. Yeah, this is all covered up. She don't like it. No, it's not even that. That's it's pretty. Just, it's just what? It's just what? It's just Jeff. It's just. Oh. No. It's basic. It's no wow factor. This gives the normal first lady dress. Mm. That's true. Right? But you are not. I'm sad. This dress is given wholesome. I don't feel sexy, it's not my style. It's just not me. Don't look. Ooh, now that's sexy. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. This might be for the birthday. <laughs> But I love the slits. <laughs> <laughs> this is Let me see. Break it down. Squat. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Yeah. Absolutely not. 
cheeky. Absolutely not. Right. I can't be cheeky with the church people. I'm not. That's not her. It's not. It's you. It's you. I want to feel sexy, but not be offensive. So it's a line that I'm not willing to cross, but I am going to keep it cute. of my dress is if I have to have a second choice it might be this dress it just feels good it makes me feel like a bride you deserve it okay I'm like stop it Mo Monique starting to cry makes me want to cry since we've gotten here with welcome party. I've had a bachelorette party. Yeah, I'm still wondering what went on there. It was fitting for okay. me. See that? See that? Like you see that? A stage fan. I'm giving Beyonce. Oh, the hand. Because I really do have a ring on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's going on? Hello, hello. Bishop Jakes is a longtime spiritual father and mentor of mine, and he is going to do the wedding ceremony. I love Bishop Jakes, but I like super duper love Mrs. Jakes. She's amazing. She is literally one of my favorite people on the planet. Y'all got the nervous jitters yet? It's the giggle jitters. It's the giggle jitters. I don't know why. I just giggle. It's kind of funny because we feel like we're getting married too because it's our 40th wedding anniversary the same weekend as the wedding. That. The Jakes to know that they love us enough to spend their anniversary with us. It's an honor and a privilege and just makes me love them even more. You've gone through quite a bit of premarital counseling already. Yeah. So this is the last chance to run. <laughs> I ain't going. I'm staying. If you go run, run right now. <laughs> so we've been in premarital counseling with the Jakes for eight weeks. Marriage is like the collision of two lives. And so you need somebody outside of that to express to you the tools that are necessary to keep a union fresh. And we just want to make sure we put as many tools in that box to make our foundation as solid as possible. I couldn't agree with you more. I was thinking about how uh, when I married her, I made this statement. I don't agree with it now, but 40 years ago it was wise. I said, I'm not marrying your family. You're not marrying mine. We're just marrying each other. And boy, was that wrong. <laughs> it's not just marrying the people, but marrying the reality of time. Yeah. That things do happen. Who knew that when we got together uh, that you would lose your father? That's a part of our counseling that we learned is how we are marrying each other's histories as well, which is also family. So it's such a deep statement, but so very, very true. And I think it's a learning process every day of what that exactly means. I thought I'd come up with this illustration and it was inspired out of the scriptures. It says, for this cause shall a man leave his mother and father and take unto him a wife and they shall cleave and become one flesh. That becoming period is a process. So I got I got this ice here to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Illustration for me. Yeah. <laughs> and this ice is cool. Come on, yeah. <laughs> so it's a cool illustration, okay? The thing about this ice is that it is it is hard 
and it is solid. Come on, man. And it is, it is everything you all have had to be to survive all the things you've been through. But over the years, if you just leave it alone long enough, absolutely, it will find its way to water and become one. Even though it looks hard, it's going to be come. I that like is so it. good. Well, I can speak for me. That may be the best illustration yeah. concerning a relationship that I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. When something is crumbling right in front of you, you want to fix it. But then I've learned not to allow urgencies to become emergencies, right? right. And that sometimes just sitting back and letting things unfold, we figure out that most things work themselves out. It is hard in the moment, though. Mm -hmm. Being still is hard, but being aware to be still is, is the key to it. That's good. Preaching. I'm learning. Being a first lady and even a pastor is the only relationship where you can't expect reciprocity. Whoa, whoa. If a shepherd takes care of the sheep, he can't expect the sheep to take care of the shepherd. That's why the thing that binds you cannot be what you do, but who you are. I love it. Even 40 years into the game, women are drawn to that. Ooh, yeah. And they think, you know, Whoa. and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, that's not your portion. <laughs> Precious lamb. <laughs> Precious lamb. Women kind of flock to leadership, but Keon is giving me a level of security to not question him. That is so different for me. The DNA of marriage is friendship. That's what's going to happen in the wedding is an open confession of an inner commitment mm. that we are friends. That's good. You are my friend. You're my oh. best bud. Yeah, I believe because you know. <laughs> yeah, these eight weeks have been life-changing. It's like understanding your, your spouse's love language. You need to understand how they receive love and how they communicate. Communication, commitment, so many good things. I am a different woman, and I was a pretty good woman after these eight sessions. You feeling pretty good about yourself? Hey, I really am. I think I put some good tools in this box. You hear me? Wow. We appreciate you so much. Like, five minutes with you guys is life-changing. It's a pleasure. I know you've been stressed out a lot, so let's just go out to the beach and let's just pray together. Right. Right now? At this very moment. Oh, my God. I got you. Okay. Maybe this is a sign that you're going to have to follow me over some steep hills. And I ain't never gonna let you fall. Okay. With all of what I am calling the dress stress, I pulled every string I could to infuse a little happiness amidst all of the turmoil. I wanted to say something to you. This is making me nervous. I couldn't figure out how to say it. So I asked somebody to say something for me. Share my life. Uh, Trust in me, babe. Oh, babe. So You're all I want. Hey, girl. <laughs> Kim is a cultural singer full of faith, so he represents the both of us because she represents culture, I represent faith, and we both love him. I still love you, girl. You're my weakness. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Epic. Good job, babe. You're all I want. Baby, hey, everything I need. Wow. Uh, yeah, there you thank go. Yeah. You. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you Congratulations. so much. This was such a wonderful surprise. You are amazing. Thank you. Wow. You. All right, we'll see you over. Thank you. I don't even know what to say besides thank you and how this is so sweet and so thoughtful. I want it to be memorable for you. Oh, wow. You tricked me. Yeah.
This is absolutely the perfect kickoff to this wedding weekend. Hey, that was so sweet. Yeah. Big day is tomorrow, and so we thought we would throw a beach party so that all of our guests can come and have fun. We want to allow our guests to have the time of their lives. I mean, that's not real. The whole point of having a destination wedding is to give people a break. Right, and enjoy the destination, right? right? And by the way, we've got rehearsal tonight. Beach party, rehearsal, fun, right? Fun, no stress. where you start the ceremony. You want me to, you want me to crowd surf to the front? Catch me, bro. So we just left the beach party. We're all having a great time. I had some drinks. So coming straight to the wedding rehearsal probably wasn't the best idea. But the boys are fine. You just tell us what to do one time and we'll be there. <laughs> if anything, I will keep Street and Shakir in line, looking good, ready to walk along down the aisle. What up, man? How you feeling? Good. Watching these, I don't know what to do it. I ain't never had boys, so these boys are crazy. Turn me up okay. in the headphones. No, no, no! Yellow watch. No! Oh my god, Yellow guys, do not help. curse. Do not, please don't. Why do the boys acting hilariously crazy like they always do? Starting to feel my nerves because it feels like tomorrow is already here. We literally started from the bottom. Nine of us in the same house. Yeah, man. It means so much to have my family here at this wedding, but especially my brother Terry. We're almost the same person. We've both been pastoring our entire lives. We are best friends. Uh, let me tell you, man, you don't know this, brother. And I'm, I ain't just saying it because it's this weekend not being sentimental. You saved my life. Because it saved me from me. Because psychologically, I wasn't doing good, man. Angry, frustrated, jealous of you at times. Getting a divorce made me feel like a failure. My brother helped me to realize that you are not your mistakes. You can have low moments and not feel you're unworthy. I can't think of nothing I ever did that you would never do. Right, man, right, that's, but that's what brothers do. I love you, man. Love you too, man, for sure, dude. You my guy? Yeah, man. And now look at you. I'm taking responsibility for everything, and I'm taking credit for Shawnee. I remember, I remember everything. That's why I was like, guess who's across the hall? Yeah. So I'm smooth as ice twice as nice, so I don't need him to help me talk to anybody. <laughs> All he did was say, you should talk to her. And since I'm intelligent, I like to take great advice. And so I listened to him, but I walked over myself. Everybody back in positions, we're finna start. Gentlemen, can you sit? Yes, ma'am. Are you ready? Yeah. So the procession is the two of you and then the bride. You're going kind of fast. I'm going to have a beautiful dress on, so it needs to be slow. Slow and amazing. It's such a relief to go through this rehearsal knowing that my dress is in the room and it actually fits. So everything is pretty much done and settled. I can now focus on just getting married. Thank you, good sir. for this wedding tomorrow. And walking down the aisle with my boys right now makes this all so real that this wedding can't get here fast enough. Brothers and sisters, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Keon Henderson. Woo! You guys aren't even paying attention and we're, we're just been pronounced. I don't know that there's a time that the boys are ever actually serious. So he would say, hey, why don't you have the girls do this? Because they're no better. Trust me. I do. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. That is a wrap. Thank you guys for coming to the rehearsals. What is Bye, wrong mom. with these boys? Bye. Don't come back. Just keep going all the way to the room. The wedding day is finally here. I'm just excited for Kian to see me in the dress and all of it is just kind of
kind of overwhelming, but so exciting that I can't wait to get there. I just want to get to the wedding. My daughters are here on their mom's wedding day, and it means everything to me. We will never forget this time together. And as long as the boys are able to walk me down the aisle nicely, this day will go perfect. My mom and Keon are a perfect match. They're kind of opposites in some ways, but I think that's what makes them perfect for each other. Who likes to bring a king? They just click in a different way, you know? It's like, she's like a whole new woman. I don't get cussed out as much. None of us get cussed out as much. Keon can calm her down. He saves us. <laughs> Why y'all tell me that? Let me get me a napkin. I can't let these tears fall. I might cry, but if I do, don't tell nobody. It is an amazing treat to have one of the greatest preachers in the world, my mentor and spiritual father, Bishop Jakes, to walk me down that aisle. I mean, it is an absolute honor. I feel as if this is the culmination of every valley and every mountain, every pitfall, every mistake, every tear, every accident. This is my reward to go forward and to show the world that there is love after falling. Hello, mother. And here comes the bride. Truth be told, I think those tears that I said weren't coming, I think they on the way. my friend. It is trying to snatch my entire veil off my head. But guess what? Veil or not, I am about to be Mrs. Keon Henderson. Beautiful seems to have made an appearance on our face. So I'm being serenaded down the aisle by Yolanda Adams. How major is that? Seriously. I'm so in awe of what I am seeing as she is walking down this path. This is such a joyful moment. I've been thinking about my dad all day, but it's been in a way of like him almost comforting me and letting me know that he's there. I don't know if the wind was a nod for my dad or those couple little raindrops that I felt, but either way, he was there. Beloved family and friends, we are gathered here today to join together this man and this woman in the holy estate of matrimony. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? We do. You're surrounded by friends to be here today as a witness that love conquers all, that it is yet possible to have a new beginning, that God's hand is so gentle and so definite that he would guide you to each other. Shawnee, will you take Keon to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you promise to stand beside him through good times and through bad times? Keon Henderson, will you take Shawnee O'Neill to be your lawfully wedded wife?
to have and to hold. In sickness and in health, through good times and through bad times. I will. Keon, say with this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Shawnee, would you take these rings and place them on his finger and say, and say Keon. Keon. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. <laughs> and of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on them today. And as I lay my hands on their head, God, put your hands on each one of those that love them. Amen. As Pastor Keon, the beautiful Miss Shani, teary-eyed and all, <laughs> they have expressed their vows. They have entered into a covenant relationship. They have prayed together. They have stayed together. They have stood together. And now they stand together by the powers invested in me, first of all, by God. It affords me a great pleasure to pronounce you no longer a couple, but husband. Get used to that word. <laughs> And wife. Kian, you may salute your bride. everyone gives me great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Keon Henderson. Come on, let's celebrate him. Being called Mr. and Mrs. Henderson yeah. feels amazing. Can you hold it? Yep, that's Mr. your Henderson. name yeah. and you're holding it. Yeah, no, ah. pick it up. Okay. Now you have it. Ah, I got it. it. I got it. it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. It feels weird, but I got it. We walk into the room and all of our loved ones have us surrounded by candles. It's amazing. We love candles, anything that exudes good energy and light and love, and that's what this circle is about. So it was just like perfect for us. Now you can blow out the candles and we get a chance to experience the first dance of Mr. and Mrs. Keon Henderson. Girl, it's been a long, long time. Watching Shawnee and Keon have their first dance, uh, just so nice. They were holding each other and they were looking into each other's eyes, but they were laughing. You can tell that they are so in love with each other. This is a moment that I will never forget. Aww. I couldn't wait to get you after this first dance. Really? I felt like that's when I was going to cry. Like, I just I just knew, because the song, we picked it. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, hold it together. We are grateful, 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 grateful that you all are here. Please, please, enjoy yourself. This is kind of like an official welcome, uh, because we're just getting started. We're proposing a toast. Um, to happiness. Yes! To the Hendersons. Oh, let's do another one. Evelyn said to the Hendersons. That's right. Oh. I said that. Oh, oh Jackie said that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is your name, man. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.